Hey all, welcome to my Milk Less Tag Collection. Big thank you to Rachel from Sweet and Simple Homes. Um, here we go, hope you enjoy it. question, how did I start my collection of milk glass? I would have to say that I started from my Nana's house. She always had, for special occasions, the Peach Luster Fire King milk glass. This is a laurel pattern. This is called a chili bowl, although we never had chili in my house. It's soup and stuff in these. And the pie plate. She had tons of this stuff. My sister has most of it. I have a few pieces, but that's how I did get started. Here are some of the pieces that I do use. I use a Cinderella bowl because it's beet and I, it's Pyrex, so I'm not worried about it. I do use this milk glass. It's actually called Opaline. It's from Holland. You can't really see the writing because it's so shiny, but it's from Holland. Keep my flour in this jar. I use my sun kissed. Squeezer, orange juicer. I use my batter bowl to display fruit, but I've got to get some new fruit. This is also Pyrex. And I use a lot of my casserole dishes. This one I use to keep fruit and vegetables in. So I do just use some of my pieces. Hey, and I also display a lot of pieces. This is my salt shaker and... Um, well, my shaker collection, let's say. This is not new, that's not new. Obviously, that's not regular milk glass. These are all old pieces. Mostly Hazel Atlas, so they're not marked. Um, salt and Pepper are Hazel Atlas, or Tip. They were sold under the Tip name also. So yes, I do display my pieces. I also display have a display over my kitchen sink. These are actually milk glass bottles. They were made in Italy and they were sold through Lily and Vernon. And I think I found a great spot for them right there. Combination of my favorite pieces and some of my other display items. If you've seen my other videos, you know that my Cinderella milk glass collection is my favorite. I just obtained a new refrigerator box. These are Pyrex and they're my favorite. So those are on display. Um, this is a Delphi piece. Some people call it blue milk glass, some people don't. I thought I'd throw it in because it's pretty. I have a couple of casserole dishes that I display. I haven't used them yet, but I have others that I do use so I probably won't. Up here you see some of my favorite pieces. Um, they're all Westmoreland milk glass, Westmoreland. Some of my favorite milk glass. I think it's about the highest quality milk glass you can get. This is hand painted. This is hand painted. And the pattern, the great book pattern, is it's so pretty. I have a lot of pieces in this pattern. This says Westmoreland. I don't know if you can see it. It's a W with an M. Some of the pieces are marked, some aren't. This is a Fenton Ash tray. Hot nail. It's marked Fenton. The later pieces were marked, the earlier ones were not. This I also have on display. It's a refrigerator dish from the 50s. I kind of have a thing for milk glass refrigerator dishes. It's on my display on a shelf. This is a plate made by Westmoreland. I might sell it, but it's on my display right now. This is a Westmoreland mayonnaise dish they call it. It's two pieces. It's in the same pattern as the bowls and a lot of other stuff that I have that I'll show you later. It's just very dainty and pretty. So that's on my display shelf. These are some of the other things I have on display. They're Pyrex. This one's not in the best shape, but they're colorful and I like the colors, so they look pretty on my shelf. Okay, so this is on my display shelf only because I had no place else to put them. 
Everything here is for sale. This is milk glass made by Pyrex in the butterfly gold pattern. It was made in the 70s. And these also are here just because I had no place else to put them. They're the crazy daisy pattern. They are also Pyrex, also mid-century, also made to go with the Corel line. These are my casserole collection. Um, I put them out. Most of the stuff is for sale. Never my gay fad pieces. They're Pyrex. Anchor Hawking, actually. Fire King. They're mid-century. They're hand-painted. They're called Gay Fad because that was the name of the studio in which they were painted. And every time I find a piece, I have a few. They're just so pretty. I These are my display pieces. I'll, they will go back on my shelf. I have a few. The custard dishes also. Pick them up anytime I can. <clears throat> Over here, I have a set of Green Meadow. I have a bunch of different loaf pans and casserole dishes. I have no lids, but I do have a set that is for sale. And let's see if I can get it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's anchor hawking. This is a very interesting casserole with the lid. I will keep this only because it's made in England. It's Pyrex. So have the tags on them. I don't know if you can see, but it says Pyrex England. I've never found another piece like this. This cute little casserole dish, it's called Dinaware. It's actually Mexican milk glass. So this is my bowl collection, and they range from the ring and petal. This is heavy. This is Westmoreland. Not a keeper. This one. This Pyrex bowl, still have the stickers on it. If you're starting to get to know me, you'll know this is keeper. I love my colored bowls. And this is in beautiful condition, so this is a display piece for me. It's gold atomic starburst pattern um, derived from the space age. During that era, they made a lot of atomic kind of patterns, and this happens to be one of them. This is a keeper. This is one of my favorite pieces. It was made by the Federal Glass Company. It's milk glass. Got my favorite color turquoise on it. It also has that retro 1950s, 60s, space age pattern on it. This is a sunbeam mixing bowl. They came in different sizes. This is a smaller one, kind of like the KitchenAid of today. I think because it's rough here that it's Glass Bake Company, although it doesn't say. But it's in beautiful this is condition. my display item piece is a Fenton. I love Fenton. And they're all in the hobnail pattern. They stay right here. As you can see, I also use this one keep it filled with candy. I think it looks really pretty. So I tried to put my vases in one place and I added a few things extra for color. These are mine. Their display pieces are very heavy. They're Westmoreland. The same pattern. This one's hand painted. It's beautiful. I love it. One of my favorite pieces. These bud vases right here, anchor hawking, stars and bars. They're for sale, not part of my keep collection. These are 1940s milk glass mugs made by the Federal Company. And they're colorful, so they go back on the shelf to add a little pop to my milk glass. This, strangely enough, is one of my favorite pieces. I just love the pattern. I've never seen another one like it. It's anchor hawking. And I know you probably can't see the bottom, but this logo shows me that it's from the 70s. It's in mint condition and it's just so pretty to look so at. So this is my milk glass Avon collection. Avon did a lot of things in milk glass, mostly mid-century. And they're all display pieces. Most of them are in my bathroom usually, except these go with my salt and pepper and other shaker collection. These are hand painted. They held different things, colognes, dusting powder, cologne. This piece held skin so soft. It's really a cool piece. It's called slag glass, but it's actually a form of milk glass. It's really pretty. I have a couple of those. You saw my last video. I found them in a thrift store. Had no idea what they were. 
I found out that they're hand painted 1940 Kimmel pieces, highly collectible and beautiful. So these go on the display shelf. This is also from my personal collection. It's hand painted. It's called Opaline. That's what Macbeth Evans, that's the company, called it. Um, it's Sweetheart Monarch is the pattern. These plates are two different examples of French milk glass. They were made by Arcapel. Indiana milk glass snack sets. I have about eight of them. These are milk glass pieces, mid-century. Uh, the pattern is florette. I've got about six of these, all in good condition. Our snack set, Rosecrest, made by Federal Glass Company. I have a bunch of these salad plates uh, made by the Federal Company. The pattern's called Moon Glow. They're really cool. This is my collection of Anchor Hawking Classic Milk Glass. That's what the pattern's called. I was lucky enough to find a box of it. I have a whole set there. And I found an oval bowl. You can tell they're newer anchor hawking by the bottom. It's also a classic swirl. I have an unused divided dish. You can also tell the back's kind of funky and not old. 1970s, I think they stopped making them. The matching deviled egg dish. A bunch of extra snack plates, no cups. And a set of the dishes, mostly the smaller ones I have in one saucer. These are different examples of big top peanut butter cups. Well, they might not all be big top peanut butter cups, but this for sure did. It came with a lid. This is a different pattern. It was also an advertising piece. And this is just my Indiana sherbet cup or dessert dish. It's really pretty. This is my collection of vintage milk glass, hand painted lampshades and lamps. My biggest tip for collectors is to pick up every piece. Don't get too excited. Sometimes I do. Run your finger around every part of it make sure there's no chips. I make that mistake a lot. I come home, find out, oh, they're chipped. So that's my tip to you. And what piece am I in the hunt for? Uh, that would have to probably be the smallest bowl to this set because I'm missing it. And it's very hard to find the small one. So that was my Milk Glass Tag Collection. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun sharing it with you. Have a great day. Your I'm grandpa. grandpa. Yeah, you are. <laughs> it's, it's, I was supposed to fix the doorbell. Is it in amongst all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs>